Hi there. This is the title of my thesis. Some of the emerging research in secondary science education has focused on the idea of student interest and engagement. And the reason why this is important is because we see a significant decline in student connection with their science classes as they move through the public education system with the most dramatic drop occurring between middle and high school. Here I want to present a bottom up view uh, which gives voice to those who actively participate in secondary science education and then using those perspectives develop some solutions to the challenges presented. A total of 11 interviews were conducted and some major themes are as follows. The establishing of connections can range from the use of simple analogies to complex ethical scenarios and they've been shown to be effective in increasingly interested students who are um, not initially fascinated with science. Also, it was reported that frequent cumulative and low pressure assessments are more conducive to student success. One teacher even pointed out that upon introduction of frequent low stakes quizzing, her students' AP pass rate doubled in a single year. While all of the teachers and administrators interviewed expressed their interest in teaching through experiments and projects, one of the teachers and all three of the students noticed noted that at the high school level, a large majority of lab exercises um, simply involve following a detailed sequence of steps with a fixed result at the end, which the students record. This is perhaps why uh, one of the college professors interviewed noted that their students lacked exploratory tendencies. In addition, I sent a survey to middle and high school science teachers across Texas. Here, uh, what is really interesting is that when asked what is the meaning of science education? Only one teacher mentioned um, the word creativity in their response. Also, when asked what the major challenges facing science education are at their schools, the most frequently cited obstacle is the lack of resources followed by absence of student motivation and ability to reason or learn independently. Regarding methods for student success, building on positive relationships and use of active learning were two of the most often listed. In an effort to come up with ways to improve science education, I constructed two sets of lesson plans specifically for eighth and ninth grade students using the principles of integrated curriculum design as outlined by the five types of integration. Here I have simplified the classification into internal and external, with internal representing integration of concepts all related to the same core topic, while external integration looks at how topics outside of the core can be discussed and brought into the curriculum. Regarding design principles, I really focused on interest, repetition, connection, and creativity. Here on the right is a schematic that describes some of the integration that is occurring. The first lesson starts with implementation, uh, uh, with, with a demonstration which compares an innocuous gas formation reaction involving the synthesis of carbon dioxide with a more dangerous reaction that produces flying gas. This is meant to capture student interest while challenging students to think about the ethical and historical um, implications of scientific discovery. This concept of gas formation is described in more detail in the second lesson, which focuses on acid-base reactions and is mentioned again um, in, when discussing combustion. Mathematical knowledge is taught together with chemistry content. Uh, and in exercise 10, students are asked to make a fire extinguisher to snuff out a candle flame without um, pro a provided procedure, which challenges students to use what they know about combustion and gas formation reactions in order to come up with a rational but creative protocol. Next, I will show you a brief look at how some of these ideas were included in five lessons centered around a bio bi biological concept. Here, I um, really focused on external integration by bringing in chemistry through looking at how acids affect protein structure, history by having students examine the development of dairy products over time, um, mathematics by teaching students how to calculate the length of a alpha, heli alpha helix, and, and language arts through reading activities after each exercise. The culinary component serves to stimulate interest and provide a practical value to the information. There are really two parts to improving secondary science education. I already discussed the what, and now I want to briefly mention um, when and where I think integrative curriculums can be implemented, and that is the after school. Many after school programs are low stress and also utilize fewer school resources. I interviewed two undergraduate students who volunteer with programs that target middle school students and found that the building of positive relationships, hands-on learning, and student interests are all common themes. These are, as previously mentioned, factors conducive for science learning. So in conclusion, um, science education is a really complex topic and many of our present challenges center around student engagement. So these challenges can potentially be addressed through integrative curriculums and after school programs and this thesis provides a springboard for future research. I want to acknowledge these individuals for um, really helping me out with this uh, thesis project and here is my bibliography. <laughs>